Chapter 34, 108 Unwound. Vic agreed to, agreed to stay in San Diego until he recovered his health. Linda was able to release all the motherly love that had been bottled up in her for so long. She was happy again. Nothing, of course, lasts forever. 108 had scheduled their final tour to start in early June, barely six weeks away. The tour would take them through Europe, the American Northeast, and end with a fun, final performance at CBGB's. I wasn't happy about that schedule. Can you postpone this tour, I asked Vic. No, Dad, there's been a lot of work to set this up. A lot of people are involved. But I don't think you're strong enough yet. Still got another six weeks, and I'm getting better every day. His optimism was not infectious. I could tell this is another of my lost causes, so I changed my tack slightly. Can anyone else play your guitar parts? I asked because his performance style was wildly energetic and exhausting just to watch. If he didn't play guitar, he'd definitely be less physically stressed. Vic chuckled. Yeah, the guitar parts aren't really complex. I'm sure someone else could handle it. Yow, a breakthrough. Awesome. Vic talked to Rob about the idea, and he lined up Dan Hornecker to be the backup guitarist. The tour went off without a hitch or the usual high energy. The U.S. part of the tour was filmed by Evan Jacobs and made it the subject of a documentary called Curse of Instinct, a fitting end for 108.